Dependency injection is a programming design pattern that makes a class independent of its dependencies. It achieves that by separating object creation from object usage. With dependency injection, classes are more focused on their core functionality and they don't have to worry about the details of how objects are created or configured. Instead, the objects are created and configured outside the class and they are passed to the class as dependencies. Many popular frameworks such as Angular, Nest.js and Spring use dependency injection as a core principle. By using dependency injection, these frameworks make it easier to manage complex applications with a large number of dependencies. Imagine an application logger class that has one method called log which simply logs the message to the console. The user service class has a private property called logger which is an instance of the logger class. It also has a constructor which accepts an instance of the logger class as an argument and assigns it to the logger property. We then create a method called getUsers which logs the message getting users using the log method of the logger instance. Now we can create a new instance of logger and pass it to the user service instance as an argument. And after we call the getUsers method on user service, we will get getting users to the console using the log method of the logger instance. In this case, an instance of the logger class is injected into the user service using dependency injection. Dependency injection has several advantages and disadvantages. The biggest benefit of dependency injection is testability. It's easy to create and run unit tests because dependencies can be easily replaced with mock objects. The other benefit of it is separation of object creation from object usage, which makes our code more maintainable. It also makes our code more flexible because the dependencies of an object can be easily changed without changing the object itself. The disadvantages of dependency injection are complexity. This can add complexity to an application by requiring extra setup and configuration. It can introduce indirection, making code more difficult to follow and understand. It can have a negative impact on performance because of the overhead of resolving dependencies at runtime. And because the flow of dependencies is less clear, it can make it more difficult to debug an application. Overall, the advantages of dependency injection often outweigh the disadvantages, especially in larger applications where modular design and testability are important. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.